Thank you. 20 years ago, Sydney was awarded the rights to host the Olympic Games. And there was wild celebrations. And then the wheels fell off. The politicians started sniping. The media stories got worse and worse and worse. And the general public were losing confidence. The most visible part of the solution for that was the appointment of David Alexander Holway as CEO of SOCOC. Sandy, as he's known to all and sundry, brought together a new leadership team who brought together the enthusiasm and the commitment out of SOCOG that led to that fantastic event, delivered, of course, with partners from many areas. Since that great games, Sandy's continued in the event industry. Unsurprisingly, he's been sought from all over the world to provide advice to the leadership of other major events all around the world and in Australia, including, of course, the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne. He's been a consultant to organising committees and bid cities. He's worked developing the vol volunteering movement in Australia. He's been called upon a number of times to work on disaster recovery. But perhaps his most significant role, and one people know least about, is that he has used his influence to promote the strengths of the Australian event industry. He's pushed the value of Australian businesses and individuals shamelessly worldwide. Sometimes that's been done officially through the auspices of the New South Wales government and the Australian government. Often it's just been done privately. And in most cases, it's been done without the knowledge of the people he's been promoting. So there are many here tonight who have benefited from his great support. He's also, of course, been one of the leaders in developing this event tonight, the awards industry, and a crucial part of the development of Australia's wonderful event industry. He has been recognised by the IOC and by the Australian Government, but the judges for the event awards thought that it was long overdue that the industry itself recognised him. So it's my very great pleasure tonight to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to Sandy Holway. <laughs> I used, I used to be multi-skilled, but I can't manage it now. Uh, look, thank you all very much indeed, and uh, thank you, David, uh, in particular. Uh, I want to say to David that uh, you have made a huge contribution uh, to the Australian event industry, both within Australia and outside it, and over many years, and you have been a wonderful friend and colleague to me, and I greatly value that. Just a uh, quick word on the Sydney 2000 Olympics. Um, I have always uh, argued that the heart and soul and spirit were put into that wonderful event by the Australian people, by the community. Uh, I well remember walking through the crowds uh, down near Circular Quay and at the rocks on about day two or night two of the Sydney Olympics, listening to one IOC member talk to another, and I was delighted to hear him say as he looked at the happy crowds who were watching the big screen and enjoying the event and had come out in their numbers into the streets, uh, if this keeps up for another 14 days, the old man won't have any choice but to say this was the greatest games ever. <laughs> and so it turned out, and it's still true in the Olympic movement, that Sydney is remembered for being a community event, for the community having taken over the event. However, here is the point for us tonight. 
None of that would have been possible. The heart and soul and spirit being put into that event would not have been possible if the brains and the bone and the muscle and the sinew and the creativity had not been put into it by this industry represented here tonight. Uh, that is what made the games possible. That is what made it possible for the community to take it over and make it the wonderful success that it was. Now, I consider that I owe everybody here uh, a profound debt of gratitude. I wouldn't be receiving this award were it not for you, the people who provide the services, the expertise and the products which constitute the Australian event industry. It was you who welcomed me to the event industry for the Olympic Games. It was you who taught me so much when I needed to move rapidly up the learning curve. And it's you with whom I've had the privilege of working uh, for close on 20 years now. I'll just make uh, three quick points about the Australian event industry uh, tonight. First, if, and it is the case, Australia needs a transition to a clever country economy, then there could be no better example of this than the event industry, with its combination of smart intellectual property, high creativity and flair, project management practicality, and a willingness to take on the international market and go out into the world market and win. Second, ours is an important industry by any measure, whether it be the community outreach or the many billions of dollars achieved in export earnings and investment attraction if you consider business events alone, let alone the many other kinds of events. But what we do need as an industry is a sense of that importance, a recognition of our own importance as an Australian asset, and we need a sense of identity uh, as an industry. And though these awards tonight are a major step in the direction of achieving that identity. And third, this is an industry which will go from strength to strength, building on the twin pillars of hosting major international events, like the Asia-Pacific Special Olympics, the forthcoming Cricket World Cup, the Asian Cup Football, and the Commonwealth Games. So that's m major international events that we bid for and win, and the second pillar being homegrown events like the forthcoming centenary of Anzac. Now, we do very well in Australia but Australians should never be short of ambition, and we can still do much more. We should be hosting the Football World Cup one day. We should host an expo one day, and we should have the vision and the initiative to establish the world's greatest Indigenous arts festival. So I'm a true believer in our industry. I'm ambitious for our industry. I assure you of my ongoing commitment to promote it wherever possible, and I most humbly and sincerely thank you very much for this award tonight. Thank you very much.